Ilya has launched a new lip product and I'm going to swatch these and share my thoughts on them in today's video along with a full face of other Ilya products. I wanted to do an updated video because I haven't done a full face of Ilya since they had released a couple new products. So I wanted to do an updated one and share these new products with you guys. So you get just a revised version of my old video. Before we start, if you guys aren't already subscribed, I would love to have you. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy at any point. But let's get into our full face. All right, guys, let's get started. I have about every single product that Elia sells. So we have a lot to talk about. But first, let me start with what I already have on my face. What I already do have on for my SPF is the Elia Super Serum Skin Tint. I do have a review of this. I wasn't crazy about it at first, but now I really enjoy it and I use it a lot. I use two shades, ST2, and I mix ST10 depending on how tan I am. But these are great if you're just going out really quickly and want SPF, but you also want a little bit of coverage. I'm gonna like grab coffee or something like this like these are perfect i brought these on the vacation i was just on it was my birthday on the 10th so i went on a little trip that was fun and i was wearing these a lot because it's spf and coverage i do enjoy these they're a little bit more dewy but they're not too much for me having combo skin i think it's nice you can set them down and the other product i wanted to mention i'm not going to be using this today but it's the elia true skin radiant priming serum this is a very liquidy primer that has like these pretty gold sort of reflex through it. It can be finicky with certain products. It can pill up a little bit. It's just not my absolute favorite. And I did already have the SPF on, so we're going to skip that today. Moving right along to foundation, the Elio True Skin Serum Foundation. You guys know I love this. It is more dewy, a little bit medium lighter coverage, but it has really nice nourishing skin ingredients. So I do find that the SPF does layer well with other products. I've tried it with this foundation and a couple other foundations that I own. So I'm just dotting this and then I'm going to go in with my sponge. If you want more coverage, from this certainly use a brush it is more liquidy so a sponge can pick up a little bit more product but I just love the finish of it with a sponge and I also wanted to mention that Elia right now is having a promotion that when you buy I think anything on their site you get a free new this is the what is this called balmy gloss tinted lip oil I will be trying these on for you guys and talking more about them later on in the video if you guys want to try them definitely check that out on their site now because you'll get one for free which is a cool way to try it out if you have any like faves you need to repurchase or anything you've had your eye on a great opportunity to do so. So here is one coat with the foundation. I do find in combination with the tinted SPF, it gives me a pretty good medium as opposed to just this on its own. But I am gonna take a little bit more of this. I do tend to do about two layers with this and I just like to layer up where I need more coverage. This is a very buildable foundation. It's very light. So I don't find that it gets heavy quickly. Next, let's move on to concealer. I have the Elia True Skin Serum Concealer here, which has been a favorite of mine for a while. This is actually my third tube of this concealer, and this is the shade SC2, which is a little bit darker than what I normally get, but this is my favorite concealer for spot concealing. I'd use it under my eyes sometimes if I'm going for like a lighter type of makeup look as opposed to going in with my cover effects. That one just has a little bit more coverage, but I like to spot conceal anywhere I need more coverage. And then I like to let this sit on my skin, maybe like 20, 30 seconds because I do find that it boosts the coverage a little bit. This definitely looks like beer, but it's actually seltzer. Can you believe that? And it's called liquid death. All right, now going in with my sponge and blending in that concealer. I love the smell of Elia products. I don't know why I just tried to smell that. They all have like this little bit of like a fruitiness, at least the foundation and concealer. It's not like too fragrancy though. It just, just sneaks up on you and you're like, hmm, what is that fruitiness? I'm also gonna do this under the eyes. Since that's just a little dark for my under eyes, I'm gonna use the Cover Effects Power Play, the white shade. I'm just seeing a tiny dot. So we don't change the formula too much, but just to lighten the shade. I really recommend having like a white product on hand or if you do have trouble finding a tone, like an olive product or there's a lot of different like color mixing things you can buy. Danessa Myricks has a bunch of them. So you can make a product work if it just doesn't suit you at the time or if you're like me and sometimes you're tanner, sometimes you're not and you just need to adjust your shade instead of buying like a whole new product. And before I set with powder, I'm gonna go in with the Elia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter in the shade Nova, which is the lighter champagne. So this is a really thin gel-like highlighter. I'm gonna take this on my finger, which is probably my favorite way to apply this, and then just work it in. I also find this is finicky with other types of products. I'm gonna use my sponge too. Like it works really good with the True Skin Foundation, but if you have like a really matte or just foundation that dries down a lot, this might look a little weird because it also dries down and 
It's a little hard to describe, but it can give you some issues. So I do recommend starting with a little bit and then building it up. When you use a little bit, it's super subtle. It just looks like a glow, like it's not too visible. I have the Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder to try, not try, to use next. Hopefully I can get enough. I'm really running low on this. You guys know I love this powder. There's hair everywhere. You guys know I really love this powder. It makes your like under eyes look airbrushed like no other powder I've ever tried. First, I'm gonna make sure that all the creases are out from my under eyes. Concealer does tend to crease up a little bit, so just make sure it's smooth. And then once it's set, I don't find that it creases a lot just when it's sitting there under your eyes and i'm using the extra to take it sides of my nose down here my smile lines just the areas i know that i get oily greasy makeup breaks up all that good stuff now i wanted to talk about the other powder that they carry which is the translucent powder spf 20 which is an spf powder I have no idea why this is called translucent because it's not translucent at all they have two shades at the lighter one magic sands and i'm not sure it's because that it's a SPF powder that it's so light, but you should be able to see it right there on my skin. Like it is very fair and it has a little bit of a yellow hint to it. It does dissipate when you blend it sort of all over your face, but I still find that it like makes my face lighter. So I would basically be aware of this and don't try it because it's only like a very specific skin tone that could use this. If you're very fair, I think this would work for you. The other shade I don't even think would work for medium skin, unfortunately. It just seems like it's probably similar to this where it's pretty light. The picture depicts it a little bit darker than it is with this one at least is what I found. I really like the idea of this, especially for SPF touch-ups throughout the day. Unfortunately, like it's not translucent and I don't think you could get a mineral powder to be translucent. I don't know, but I'm just gonna show you guys what this looks like. It's not too bad, but like, as I was saying, if you're like any other shade, then very fair. <laughs> I just don't think this would work for you, which sucks. Next, let's do some bronzer. I have the one of the new launches from Elia. It's their Drawn In Nightlight Bronzing Powder. Honestly, I don't reach for this a lot. I don't think it's really that outstanding of a launch. Limited shades, and it's a nice formula. It is matte but it's just not something that I'm like so drawn to that I reach for this over my other bronzer. If you're looking for a good matte bronzer and one of the shades would work for you, maybe you would like it, but it's just not my top recommendation for Elia. I'm just taking this and starting to bronze up my face. This is pretty light at first. And I do like the tone of it. I mean, it's like a little bit warm as a bronzer would be, but it's not too much. For blush, I have two different options here. I have their Color Haze Multi Matte pigments and then i also have i think these are just called their multi sticks they're these cream products you can use on anywhere you want hence the name multi stick swatch these this is a shade ladybird really pretty rosy pink and then we have at last which i think is a bit deeper sounds like a little bit more purpley and then we have the color haze in temptation just a brighter peony pink. And then we have the color haze in Sing, which is very purpley. These are so pigmented, by the way. They're definitely like more subdued, which is more of my vibe. I'm torn between these two. I'm thinking this just looks really pretty. All right, so I picked Ladybird, by the way. I'm not gonna apply this directly on my face. Formed up a little bit of product on the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna work in my Luxie small contouring brush to evenly get that. And then I'm gonna stipple this on the backs of my cheeks. This is a really pretty formula, and it seems to do well over powder. You don't feel like it picks it up. I probably should have done this first, but I have the highlight as well, which I have the same thoughts as the bronzer. The shade range of it sucks, and it's just not my favorite formula. I find it can be a little bit chunky. I don't know, the shade I feel like is just too dark for me. I think I'm actually gonna skip out on using this and just go with the glow from the blush that we use, because I don't know, sometimes I'm, remember I'm not too crazy about highlight, especially if I'm going like sunlight or anything. I usually go with a much more like natural or just like a glowy powder option. Let's move on to eyes. I have the Necessary palettes here. This is their old packaging, by the way. We have the Warm palette. I was so excited when these came out because this was like one of the first like clean, warm, smaller palettes that I was just super interested in. And this is the cool one. I love the cool one as well. Not a huge fan of cool shades usually, but because this is... I find it very wearable. Some cool tones, I'm just like, how do you even come up with an idea to wear that? But they're very subdued. You get these nice sort of like, just very wearable, like everyday shades. And these you can work into more of like a nighttime look. But I'm gonna stick with my warm one just because it's Leo season. All right, so I'm gonna grab a big, big, big fluffy blush. I'm gonna grab a big fluffy brush and dip into this mustardy shade, which I thought was so unique. When I first saw it, it makes a great transition. It's not as scary as it looks in the pan. 
I find these shadows are very blendable and workable, not too pigmented. They'd be great if you're not too good at eyeshadow or you just want something that's gonna be easy and sort of foolproof in the morning. Next, I'm taking this creamsicle shade, which is a orangey shade. So I'm just taking that shade and focusing it on the outer V of my eye. And then we'll blend that in with a blending brush. All right, I don't want to go too dark in the crease because I want to keep this very light in daytime. So the next shade I'm going to take is I'm going to take this gold shade, like this bronzy gold, really pretty. And I'm going to focus this on the outer half of my eye. The metallics in this palette are really nice too. They don't have like a lot of fallout, so you can use them with a brush. And then I'm taking this light champagne shade on the other side of this brush. This is going to be for the center and inner corner of the lid. So I have a couple options for liner here. I have one of their gel liners in black and the liquid liner. I think I really enjoy both of these. I think they're great liners, but I want to do a brown smoky wing with this. So I'm going to go back into the necessary palette and take this brown shade. So grabbing that on a liner brush, do my shadow liner. I start very close to the lash line and then I like to bring it out after that's done. Shadow liner is really easy to clean up too. So like you don't worry too much about the shape. The great thing about it you could also do this technique with the gel liner or of course the liquid liner so to clean that up all you have to do is take a basically clean brush anything with a good edge to it and then just swipe it up there to add a little bit more interest i just went in with this matte red burgundy which is so pretty i just layered it on top of that liner to make it more of like a red brown all right next up mascara the elia soft nope elia limitless lash mascara i don't even know how many tubes of this i've gone through at this point but it's the best clean mascara best mascara honestly that i've ever tried it does not get clumpy it does not flake like i'm not joking when i say it does not flake it does not sponge like this shit's good. Please try this if you haven't already and you're looking for mascara. I use it every single day and I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna use anything else ever. Maybe if something can top this, I'll try it. All right, so here is basically the completed look for the eyes. I just finished with a little bit of an inner corner since the Ilia palettes didn't have anything bright enough. This is my one critique of them. I wish I had like a very bright inner corner shade. And then I did a coat of the mascara. I think I'm gonna skip lashes. I've been doing that a lot lately in the mascara. It just looks so pretty on its own. So we're gonna leave that for the full Ilia full face effect. Now let's get into the good stuff, the lip products. I have three different lip products to share with you from Ilia. I just wanna mention the Colorblock lipsticks. I wanna swatch them. First is Amber Light, which is so, so pretty. Has, it's more like a pink nude. It reminds me a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, just a little bit more depth to it. Then we have this shade, which is called Rococo, which is this bright magenta, not too bright, it is still pretty subdued. And we have the tinted lip conditioners, which I absolutely love the formula of these. I'm pretty sure I have another shade in my purse at the moment. This is Little Sister. Oh Baby is in my purse, which is like a lighter pink. And then we have the shade Europa, which is this gorgeous deep burgundy, which like can be sheer. I was wearing this a lot in the fall, like a little berry vibe. But the new product for lips I have to share with you is the Ilia Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oils. I have three shades. I will swatch all of them for you, starting with this shade, which is my favorite out of the three. This is called Only You. There's what the applicator looks like. I actually already have this on my lips. And these are a really interesting formula. They are definitely super lightweight because it's an oil-based lip formula. But because they're more balmy, I find they have like a lot more lasting power than say the new Say Beauty lip glosses. Those are very oily, but I feel like they come off almost immediately. These last a little bit longer. They are just like a balmy, glossy type of thing. So they're obviously not super long lasting. But they're extremely comfortable. They don't really have an overwhelming scent or smell that I notice. The shade's really pretty. Makes your lips just look like nice and juicy so quick. This is like the perfect purse product for me because usually I want like a little bit of color, not just like a clear gloss or anything, but I don't want like a lipstick because they're just a little harder to apply. I'm so excited about these and I've been really enjoying them so far. Also was using this every time I got ready, like while I'm just doing my makeup to hydrate them and then also at the end. But let's get into these other shades. I have Tahiti here. So here's this hand swatch of Only You and then this next one, Tahiti. Here's the shade Tahiti, which is a little bit more of a brighter pink, adds a little more pop to your look. I love how sheer these are, but you can build up the color a little bit more if you want to. And then lastly, we have the shade Petals. It's all like very similar, but this is more of like a 
traditional bubblegum pink. I think Tahiti has a bit more rosiness to it. I really enjoy the applicators on these. They do taper to a nice point. You can get more precise on the areas where you need it. And they do pick up a good amount of product too. I don't find you have to like dip in a lot. So here's the shade Petals. Reminds me of like a very Barbie pink type of vibe. My favorite is definitely only you though. So I think I'm gonna use one of the lipsticks and then layer one of these on top. And these are also definitely not sticky at all. Like I wouldn't call them a gloss. They just give you the shine of a gloss, but sort of that moisturizing feel of a lip balm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw on Amber Light, which is the color block lipstick. Color block lipsticks are very creamy and they apply just beautifully and very opaque on their own i just love the finish of these they're the perfect everyday formula to top it and just add a little bit more shine i'm going to use the only you i can't remember the name of these balmy gloss and it's just going to lighten it up in the center all right guys that was it for our look today i will link elia below if you guys want to get that free balmy gloss with your order check in the description thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i'd love to hear what your favorite elia product is in the comments below or if you haven't tried them what's one thing that you have your eye on don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye